Ah, the beautiful Canon 5D Mark III. I love this camera. But this video is not about my opinions. This video is a tutorial of sorts describing what each button and body feature does that is contained basically on the exterior of the Mark III. Starting with the top of the camera body, we have the groovy strap mount brackets on either side. Looking at the left side, there is a rotating mode dial. The options of the mode dial are the custom shooting modes which contain the C1, C2, and C3 modes where the operator can register the shooting modes. As for the other selections, we have the bulb exposure selection signified by AB, the manual exposure selection signified by the letter M, the aperture priority AE selection signified by AV, the shutter priority AE selection signified by TV, the program AE selection signified by the letter P and the scene intelligent auto mode signified by the A plus button. Directly under the mode dial is the power switch which in case some of you don't know switches the camera on and off. In the center contains the hot shoe and flash sync contacts. There is no built-in pop flash on the camera unit. Sliding to the right is the ginormous LCD panel with the four menu option buttons just above it. From the left we have the metering mode selection and white balance selection button. Next is the AF mode and drive mode selection button. After that is the ISO speed setting and flash exposure compensation button. Lastly is the LCD panel illumination button for uses in low light situations. Above that row of buttons is the main dial for adjusting any selected options on your LCD. Next to that is the AF area selection mode and multifunction button. Lastly is the shutter button. Taking a peek at the front of the camera's body we see the shutter button again in the upper left side. Under that on the battery compartment grip we have the remote control sensor. Jumping to the right we see the self timer lamp. Traveling down to the bottom there is the depth of field preview button. And next to that, kind of hidden, is the DC coupler cord cover. Looking at the center area of the camera we have the lens mount index, the lens mount itself, the lens lock pin, the lens contacts, and the mirror on the inside of the unit. Scooting to the right a little we see the lens release button. Below that is the generation of the camera. In this case it is a third generation. And above that is the model of the camera. Nearer to the model number is the camera's microphone. And visible is the mode dial on top of that camera body. Which we already talked about. Taking a look at the left side of the camera, we have the obvious mode dial again, the strap mount bracket again, and the terminal cover. Inside the terminal cover area sits the mini HDMI out terminal, the audio video mini USB digital terminal, the headphone terminal, the external microphone in terminal, the PC terminal and the N3 type remote control terminal. Flipping over to the right side of the camera we have the focal plane mark, the strap mount bracket from earlier, and the memory card slot cover which as you can see accommodates the compact flash card and as the memory card size. Taking a look at the back of the camera there is the menu access button Next to that is the info button for camera information. To the right is the eye cup, and inside the eye cup lies the viewfinder eyepiece. To the right of the eye cup sits the dioptric knob which adjusts the viewfinder's clarity. It's hard to see, but it is there. Moving to the right corner is the AF on start button. Next to that is the AE lock button. The last button is the AF point selection button. Jumping to the left again, 
we see the live view slash movie shooting switch which doubles as the start stop button below that is the multi-controller joystick right under that is the quick control button then we have the quick control dial that contains the touchpad section and the center setting button is right in the middle below that area is the multi-function lock switch and hidden next to it is the camera's access lamp looking at the center is the obvious LCD monitor kinda hard to see but below the LCD is the light sensor and next to that is the integrated speaker lastly is the left side button series featuring the creative photo comparative playback and direct print button all in one next is the rating button under that sits the index magnifier and reduce button next is the playback button and last but not least is the erase button and looking at the bottom of the camera's body we see the tripod mounting socket the groovy camera informational sticker and the battery compartment cover okay now you should all know what all the buttons and physical accessories on the camera 5 D Mark III by Canon. Now get out there and take some beautiful photos.